Credentials, please. Oh, come on, Max. We've been all through this before. Credentials, please. It's not one of my better pictures. The lighting was bad, my hair was a mess. I'm really head of the mob, but I had a facelift. You should get your money back. Our destination is the home of Mrs. Carlton Murdoch. Relationship, employees. Temporarily. Is this really necessary? It's my job. With all the jewel robberies around here lately, the pressure is on me to be careful. I've got to keep the undesirables out. If we find the burglar, Max, we'll tell him to stop by and sign in. <laughs> tropical forest in the middle of the city. They planted it. It only cost six million dollars. Hello, florist. Send me a forest. I wonder what it costs to live in Sherwood Park. If you have to ask, don't ask. I think this is our stop. Shall we walk from here? I'm with you. Money. The protector of Sherwood Forest bids you welcome. Robin Hood. Oh, really, Miss West? You must take me for some sort of gullible fool. Do you mean I have been paying you a salary to have you come and tell me that the bandit of Sherwood Park is none other than Robin Hood? Poetic justice, don't you think? A trifle too poetic. And I think in this case, the scales of justice have been rigged. You don't think we'd make a thing like that up? Well, now, you know that's the only thing in your favor. It's so completely outrageous that I suppose it must be the truth. <laughs> <laughs> 
We didn't crack up that car just for kicks. And now I guess you're going to tell me that the reason he steals from the rich is to give it to the poor. Mrs. Murdoch, you've read the book. Madame, Dr. Ames has arrived. Ask him to come in, Annette. And stop ogling, Mr. Bolt. I'm sure he gets your message. Uh, yes, madame. The man you're about to meet is my analyst. I have been so full of anxiety over all these recent thefts that I, I simply had to have a few sessions with the doctor. I didn't know psychiatrists made house calls. Oh, he's my neighbor. Yes, he's rented that early American atrocity next door. Coffee grinders for lamps and all that. I heard that remark. And if I'm not mistaken, it was tinged with repressed anger and hostility. You're late. Well, you're not the only sick person in the world. I'm Gregory Ames. Miss West, Mr. Bolt. How do you do? How do, How you, do, do? you do, Doctor? Do do? I've hired them to protect my jewelry. Oh, good for them. Drink anyone? No, thanks. We're just leaving. And you'll never guess who it is they think the thief is. Alibaba. Robin Hood. Oh. Well, everyone's making it on pills nowadays. I, I'm old fashioned. I stick to gin. We'll keep you posted, Mrs. Murdoch. Good night. Good night, Doctor. Good night. My best to Robin Hood. Oh, this is ridiculous. Where would you be if you were Robin Hood? Fighting Basil Rathbone on the Late Late Show. Look out! Tax. Run. I know when I'm licked. Listen. Sounds like water. Friend or foe? That depends on you. I know thee, fellow. Thou art called Little John. Can you believe it? Oh, we better humor him. He might be dangerous. Art thou called Little John? Indeed I am. And I am called Maid Marian. Thou art late. Too long have I been alone here in Sherwood Forest. If thou art truly little, John, take up thy quarter staff and prove it. You remember the legend, Sam? You fight Robin Hood on the log with your staff. Yeah, but I forget who wins. It's a pleasure, Mr. Hood. You may call me Robin. I so be it, Robin. I could use a fire and some dry clothes. Is your hideout nearby? You two look uncommonly like the knaves who pursued me last evening. Know ye the Sheriff of Nottingham? Nay, forsooth. We are little John and Maid Mary and your friends. Then tell me this. Why does Robin Hood steal from the rich? Because the poor have bad jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> well said. But they shall have beautiful stones soon, for I will give them to the poor. Could we, uh, feast our eyes upon them, good Robin? I will show you my lair and my riches after you prove to be what you say. How do we do that, good Robin? Steal some bauble of great wealth from the idle rich and bring it to me here tomorrow. 
Only then will I trust you. Hunt me, and you die. Well, Maid Marianne, what do we do now? We become one of Robin's hoods. Delusions of this kind are not uncommon. I had a patient once who thought he was Christopher Columbus. I prescribed a long sea voyage for him. I advise that you humor this Robin Hood. Gain his confidence, then capture him. We want to help him. We don't want to hurt him. He's really very nice. Nonsense. He's a thief. Why didn't you simply hunt him down and recover the jewels? Because he knows these woods better than we do. And I don't want an arrow through my gizzard. If we were to capture him, we might never find the jewels. We've got to convince him of our friendship, and the only way to do that is with a piece of jewelry. We thought, Mrs. Murdoch, uh, perhaps you wouldn't mind if we borrowed some little something, uh, your emerald necklace? A little something? Robin Hood's dementia seems to be contagious. Well, we know he's mad about green. Green boots, green suit. Miss West. I hired you to protect my valuables, and now you want to hand them over personally to the thief. It's the only way. Take him a piece of worthless paste. Although he may be mad, he's certainly no fool. He's stolen enough real stones to recognize a fake. Arouse his suspicion, and he'll vanish with the loot. Whose side are you on? My apologies, my dear, but please do as they ask. The man must be apprehended. And to lure him here, we need bait the best way, Mrs. Murdoch. Very well. I'll go and get the admirals. Well done, Maid Marion. In truth, it is very fine. Where did you get them? Mrs. Carlton Murdoch. I have access to her home. She has many other lovely jewels. These emeralds are of the very first quality. You say this Mrs. Murdoch has many other baubles, as precious as this? I was in fear of taking more. Which house is hers? It's the uh, English medieval manor. Do you know it? It's my favorite. I like not that structure next door to it. The early American with the coffee grinders for lamps. <laughs> I... I wish she'd stop discussing my house and find out where his hideout is. She'll do it at the right moment. If I were to leave an upstairs window open and uh, little John met you with a coil of rope... Aye, that might work. But can you vouch for little John? Are you sure he'll be there? A king's ransom could not keep him away. <laughs> You've done well, Maid Marion. Tell little John I will meet him this very evening by Mrs. Murdoch's moat. She doesn't have a moat. Shall we make it the service entrance? Very well. Upon the stroke of ten. I did not know I was about to do that. Nor did I. Have I earned the right to see Robin Hood's secret lair? Nay. No man sets eyes on Robin's castle. But I am not a man. I... You could charm the devil. I'll not show you where I dwell, but I'll give you a hint. See if you can find me. Tell me. In a hollow, big as a log, with current vines around me, there stay I, snug and dry, no enemies to hound me. That's all? It is all I need. Now farewell until tonight. Dear Robin, take this ring that I shall e'er be near you. I shall wear it close to my heart where it shall whisper your name. change in 10 minutes. Staying in the same place. I wonder if he dropped the ring. I doubt it, the way he was carrying on about you. Do you think maybe he suspects a trap? No. What does that signal say to you? It says beep, beep, beep. Well, it's not saying beep, beep, beep any faster. Let's go find him. Say 
I am. Look, honey, please give me some facts to go on. That's what I'm trying to do, Lieutenant. Okay, then who's the body? Whose name is Robin Hood. Oh, boy. My mother wanted me to be a violinist, but no, I had to be a cop. Sam, you and Honey found the body, right? How? We followed the beep beep of his ring. I mean, her ring. I'll pretend I never heard that. And how do you fit in? I'm a psychiatrist, and when Honey and Sam discovered the body, they ran into my house. Oh, but which one of them needed help? Well, Sam wanted to telephone you, and Honey wanted me to take a look at the body. So now it's the corpse who needed some therapy. Lest you forget, a psychiatrist is also a doctor of medicine. Honey hoped that I might be able to revive Robin. You mean you think this man was Robin Hood? No. But I think that he thought so. Lieutenant, we were hired to find out where Robin hid his loot. What loot? The loot that he'd been stealing from all the best homes here in Sherwood Park. You think this man was connected with this string of burglaries? Not connected. He did them. Oh, boy. Why did I have to be on duty tonight? Why don't you go home and lie down and put a cold towel on your head? You know, that's the best lead I've had all day. I'll, um, send over the coroner's ambulance to pick up the corpse, Doctor. If you are a doctor. Very well, Lieutenant. If you are a Lieutenant. I don't believe it. Neither did the lieutenant. Mrs. Murdoch, I know this all sounds absurd. There are a lot of questions. There is only one important question, Mr. Bolt. Where is my emerald necklace? I gave it to Robin Hood. Oh, you did? And now this living legend has ceased living. Verily. Felled by some phantom archer. Well, I hardly think he bullseyed himself. <sighs> Miss West, what you did with my necklace is nothing short of out-and-out -out theft. I have telephoned my insurance company, given them all the details of this incident, and they're sending a lawyer out here tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Mrs. Murdoch, you have exactly 24 hours in which to return my necklace or face formal charges. You rang, madame. Show Miss West and Mr. Bolt to the door. The back door. Don't waste your charms on him. He's practically a convict. In a hollow, big as a log, with current vines around me, there stay I, snug and dry, no enemies to hound me. That's not much to go on, is it? Yeah. Hollow log. No, a hollow as big as a log. How big is that? Depends on the log. Current vines. What do current vines look like? Green with little red berries. You mean little red currants. Now, did you see any of those out in the woods? In a whole forest. Who notices one plant? Oh, look, you know and I know there really isn't a Robin Hood. Just a strange fellow who thought he was. Sam, maybe they aren't red. What? The currants. Maybe the currants have no color at all. And maybe the vines aren't green. What? Hollow, snug and dry. Sam, in a neighborhood like Sherwood Park, they don't allow overhead power lines, do they? Current vines. Current. Electrical current. Wires. A utility service tunnel, right? Right. <laughs> It's got to be somewhere in this area. Yeah. Sam? I think I've got him. Come on. 
I hope this is Robin's hideout. If it isn't, it may have to be ours. Did you ever have claustrophobia? Only in tight places. I wonder where he'd keep the jewels. One jewel cufflink. That's all? I doubt if Mrs. Murray could accept that. How could anybody else know about it? Yeah, nobody else had a clue. Sam. That day you met Robin. He was with me in the truck at the receiver. He knew where Robin would be that night and where to look for the jewels. And now that he's got it. He won't stick around for long. Still one cufflink missing. I wonder where I could have dropped it. Oh, it doesn't matter, Sherry. We must hurry. I don't like to leave any clues behind. Did you get the plane tickets? Right in here. Good. But poor Mr. Bolt. He will have to go to prison. Well, you can write him long, comforting letters from Switzerland. And poor Robin Hood. Never trust partners in crime. Especially when they're schizo. Quoi? Schizophrenic. You know that fool wanted to give all this away to the poor. Well, what a delightful surprise. We came here to congratulate you on your marksmanship. Is archery your hobby, Doctor? Emerald necklace. Yeah. What's the matter? Poor Robin, he'll never forgive us. Why not? We have to give it back to the rich. I see you got the car fixed. Just like new. Say, uh, tell me something, will you? Were Robin Hood and the doctor working together? That's where the kooks crumble. Well, what do you know? Dr. Ames set up the burglaries. He supplied the house plans of all his wealthy friends here. A couple of dinglings, huh? That guy in the green suit. His name wasn't really Robin Hood, was it? Of course not. We were finally able to trace his identity. He was a former patient of Dr. Ames. So who was he? William Tell. William? Bye.